Yo, what's the deal? You know what I'm saying? It's your boy Carter. You at Cartier World today, man? We got another reaction video, bro. Need y'all to like, comment, sub, up, man. Like, comment, sub, up, bro. Good morning, y'all. Good morning to y'all, man. Let's get to it. We got another video, bro. It's hot, man. It's been hot. Gene Deal, Diddy's ex bodyguard, man. He on the expose of Diddy, and he been on this for a minute. This is his mission. Uh, we we gonna tap in and see what he got to say, man. Uh. It's been a lot of stuff happening, man. Diddy, the tape didn't leak where he beat the shit out of Cassie in that hotel room. Shame on him. It's a lot going on, man. Uh, but shit, Gene Deal believes Diddy will take his life over Cassie. Damn. It reveals Diddy worships the devil. I ain't know Diddy was a uh, was a Satan bull. I'm gonna be honest, but we gonna uh, we gonna see what's going on. Think Diddy could come back from this? Because a lot of people saying it's over for him. Oh, it is over for him. Come back to where? To be in the entertainer business? Listen to me, man. And I don't want to bring this guy's story up because it's old. And I know he's trying to live past it. But I'm going to bring <laughs> it up anyway. <laughs> nigga said all that. He did all that at Precursor. Yeah, I don't want to do it because it's old, <laughs> but he about to air his ass out. I can see it. Look at this nigga face right there. Ray Rice, his wife, spit in his face. And he did what he did on that elevator. He ain't played one football game after that. Mm. Nowhere that mm. I know of. He nah, it says facts, though. When people get hit with those domestic violence charges, assault cases, it's bad, man. Chris Brown, uh, that really affected his career. Like, But it's really a downhill projection, you know what I'm saying, after it's not even allegations. It's true. Like, we saw what happened. Man, he beat her like a man on the street. Shame on him. Overseas and played or something like that. I don't know that to be true. But he didn't play in the NFL a hell of a running back. He ain't played not one down in the NFL after that. No endorsements. Nobody's going to have anything to do with old boy. And when they come out with this other stuff. Sheesh. That's when it's going to get scary, bro. When they come out with that other shit, it's going to get bad. Ain't even going to cap to you. Cause it's like you on camera beating the shit out this girl. You got the sex trafficking case you fighting or they trying to build on you. It's just tough for Diddy, bro. I don't think it could ever be the same. And I think somebody is really mad at Diddy and they trying to take him down. Because he just ain't got away for too long. And I guess he, he just out here wilding still, you know. So uh, it's bad for Diddy. Will he beat this, man? Y'all let me know where he beat this in the comments, though. He gonna come back to work. I won't. I wouldn't be surprised if he do the ultimate sin. It's suicide. Wow. If he like that, y'all man, that's crazy. You think he gonna off himself? Cause bruh, he's so he's such a narcissistic that he couldn't stand not being somewhere and not being seen. <laughs> His whole life. His whole career was about him being seen in the public. It was about him, you know, taking everybody else's dreams. Mm. Nah, he got some real hate for Diddy. I, just listen to his voice, man. That nigga got some real. This one, I'd be like, all right, man, is this hate? You know what I'm saying? He said he crushing niggas' dreams, but he also made niggas live out their dreams, you know what I'm saying? And he's definitely done some bad things, but this is when I'm like, all right, Gene Deal, are you just, is this just hate? You know what I'm saying? And making him his. And now, him nor his kids would profit from anything mm. from Bad Boy or Sean Puppy Combs again. Wow. His kids is going to suffer behind this. Wow, man. That's crazy to hear, man. And you know when Diddy, you think it's a good chance he might take his life? He was talking about taking his life at the city college thing. 
Yo, D for ASAP. Okay, so it's on record that Diddy has said he would do some shit like this. Y'all let me know in them comments, because I ain't know this. Father say, yo, man, we got to watch him, man. This nigga talking about killing himself. Mm -hmm. I say, so let him. If you're that weak, I said, let him. And he said, yo, Gene, why you say that? I said, man, listen to me, man. He ain't no good <laughs> to nobody be talking about hurting himself. His life don't belong to him. Mm. His life belong to God. What he should be trying to do right now is work his way towards God now, for real. And not that <laughs> devil he been worshiping. Mm. That those people got him believing, you understand? That's the true God. Damn, he been worshiping the devil. That's crazy, man. Who do y'all think the puppet masters are behind the scene with Diddy who in bed with Diddy? You know what I'm saying? Literally, figuratively, you know what I'm saying? Leor Cohen, uh, Universal Music Group. Who is backing Diddy? Who's, di who's dirty with Diddy, man? We want to know who else is a part of this because... With an operation this big and a, a, a guy of this stature, it shit get deep. And I know it's 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 more lieutenants, it's more people who's involved in these sex crimes as well. Everything from what I know since I've been around them, you know, everything that's going forward has been that of the devil. The drugs, the alcohol, the partying, everything has been of the devil. Mm -hmm. And he's been leading not only himself, our people, into some <laughs> kind of damnation through his actions. Yeah, I'm just in disbelief, man. I mean, to see his downfall. I mean, he's been on a long run, man. So, you know, to see this is crazy, man. I mean, how long has he been famous? Nah, so you got to realize he didn't get his fame until after he made that. Remember, you got to remember this, Mighty. I said he made the atmosphere for Pac to die. He mm -hmm. made the atmosphere for Big to die. He created the atmosphere, you understand, for Suge Knight to go to jail because that's what came out of his mouth. Ugh. Ain't no way Diddy said all this. So he really the master orchestrator. So Diddy some sort of crime boss at this point, because it's like, if, if, if you know what I'm saying, those powerful players. That's that's who we talking about. The powerful players in the picture. You know, this is uh, it's interesting. Hold on. Go to jail, cause that's what came out of his mouth. So that didn't happen. His fame didn't really, be, he didn't really come famous until after the death of Tupac and the Notorious Big, brother. Damn. Like that? Diddy was the background guy, but he was the nigga pressing the buttons. He always been the boss. I mean, Diddy done done a lot of folks wrong. And, man, would y'all go so far as to say he worshiping the devil? Though I think that's kind of hate. He probably just... I don't, I'm not saying he a good person, but worshiping the devil, that's some whole other shit. But it is, uh, it's interesting, man, because I think this the downfall of Diddy for real, man. You got sex crime cases, you on camera with a saw, it's no telling what else going to come out. This like when R. Kelly fell, no cap. So that's like 97, he went on that whole bad boy tour with the number one song in the world, Missing You where he stole the, the thing from Sting and the, and the music from uh, Source Money, the, 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 uh, the lyrics from Source Money, didn't even want to pay that man his money. Waited all those years <laughs> to pay that man his money. He was stealing people dreams, man. Damn. He's the cause. Gene really hurt about this shit, bruh. Look at Gene. He really hurt about this, bruh. I ain't gonna lie. Dean looked like, I mean, Gene looked like he, he ready to struggle. Uh, Man, he, he ready to just strangle that nigga Diddy, homie. I ain't gonna lie, he looking shit.
He looking crazy, bro. Gene Deal, you borderline looking crazy on this. But this is expected because Diddy did to Unthinkable, bro. He out here. That nigga's out here fucking with minors. He beating the shit out of women. He just on some scumbag shit. A lot of people, definitely, people ain't gonna see it the way I see it. But when you steal somebody's dreams, Black Rob probably could have changed his life. Probably could have changed the way he thought. Probably could have changed the way he was doing business if he wouldn't have stole G Depp from him. Damn. He, if he would have treated Craig Mack in the correct way and not try to steal his music, use him in the way that he used Craig Mack to uh, um, to catapult the notorious big. Mm. Craig Mack, life could have been changed. If he would have never set up the atmosphere and had big out there in California, I like I do like how Gene is holding him accountable though, cause he like all these situations you could have prevented, you could have did the right thing, but you did the wrong thing, and it's like yeah you a leader in this, you appointed, you know what I'm saying, you know niggas, you working with people behind the scenes, getting hits made. Tupac got shot at the studio, in New York, before he died. R. P. Biggie killed at California, like, and it, it's always been rumored that he had you know had uh dealings behind this and, and he was fucking with that man i mean from shootouts at the club like it's just a lot of incidents where i feel like diddy really didn't show his true colors but diddy got that power so a lot of people ain't coming out talking about him but gene ain't scared he gonna let the hate show the real show but he got his back his proof too bring it big to that party the notorious big life may still be here. If he wasn't trying to put the bloods against the Crips, well, they was already against each other anyway, but use the Crips, maybe Tupac would have never had that altercation. But if if ands and buts were See, Kansas and us, like I always say, Chris would be every day. And I understand that. But he set up the atmosphere for a lot of people, whoop, shut up the atmosphere between him and BMF. Mm. Come on. Hey, man, that nigga's the ultimate orchestrator. He's the puppet master, bro. Gene telling y'all, Gene giving us the game. Diddy is the puppet master, homie. He, he out here, come on, man. And, damn. But who's going to be next, man? Who's going to be next? It went... Cosby, R. Kelly, Diddy, you know, motherfuckers coming out the woodwork. Everybody couldn't have been sick, for real. We got to have some good representation in the community, bro. Shout out Dr. Umar. Shout out to uh, Barack Obama. Nah, yeah, shout out to Barack Obama. They say one day you got to pay the piper. Mm. That's why he getting that smoke. Sauce Money, you brought his name up. He had an issue with Diddy? For years, Sauce Money is the one who wrote uh, that Missing You, bro. The number one song for a long, it was the number song, one song on Billboard. I think he did more, more, more than Elvis or anybody. Damn. Probably Whitney Houston. But Whitney Houston is the only one did like Triple Diamond or something. But that Sauce Money, was like the number one song, and that's what catapulted him into stardom. He didn't pay Source Money for years. Damn. For years. And Source Money wouldn't say this, but I know this to be true. He did a diss song on Puff. Mm. Sent it to Jay-Z. Jay-Z called Puff and said, <laughs> yo, my man, you don't want that diss song to come out about you. Oh, man. This is true story. I think Puff sent him $100,000 or something like that. <laughs> and that was, but I, that could have been about eight to 10 years after that came out. Damn. <laughs> you know how much money he made and show money and everything he did on that? It's crazy. 
But the only person who was getting paid off that was Sting. Hey, man, uh, what y'all think about this, bro? What y'all think about this, man? It's crazy. Uh, well, Diddy, you know what I'm saying? Is he going to take his life? You know what I'm saying? Is he worshiping the devil? You know? Well, no, man, but I want to know what the people know. I appreciate y'all rocking with me. Y'all keep tapping in, though, man. It's Cartier, you went Cartier World.